Now, Newton's third law goes something like this. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Um, so we're going to get into it. This is a marble demonstration of that law. So I have two marbles here. Let's see if they roll of the same size. And basically, I am going to roll one marble into the other. And we're going to see a real life video of what happens when Newton's third law is in action. So we have this one marble and I roll it and it hits that second marble and it moves it. And so we'll see that as the one marble hits the second marble, it moves the second marble and it also changes the course of the first marble. So basically the force of the first marble hits the second marble and moves it in whichever direction, depending on the angle. And the second marble acts on the first marble with an equal force, moving the first marble in a different direction. Okay. Let's change things up a little bit. Switch the size of the marbles. It's a big one. Okay, hopefully it stays where it is. Yep, we're good. Um, what do you guys think is going to happen when I slide this small marble into the big one? Let's find out. doesn't really move it. <laughs> so the first marble that hits the big one bounces away. So the first marble is acting on the second marble when it hits it. And the second marble uh, provides an equal force back to the first marble. This is Newton's third law. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Um, but the force of the first marble is not enough to move the second marble. The force of the second marble is more than enough to move the first marble. Uh, picture yourself Picture yourself on a rolling chair, a chair with wheels, and you push a wall with it when you're sitting on it. You're going to slide away. That wall is not going to move. Same idea here. Switch things up. What do you guys think is going to happen when I roll the big marble into the small one? They both move. And we saw there, let's do that again. It almost looked like the second marble didn't even affect the first marble. It just kind of steamrolled right through it. Didn't even slow down. Well, believe it or not, the second marble did respond with a force on the first marble. So the first marble hits the second marble and moves it, right? And by Newton's second, third law, we must uh, have that the smaller second marble acts on the first marble with an equal force. And it did. It did hit it back. Now, why didn't the first marble, the bigger one, stop? Well, this is a big misconception. Um, a lot of times, actually, if you Google this, if you, if you Google the phrase of Newton's third law, every action has an equal and opposite reaction, the first suggested search that comes up is, so why do things move? Like, why does stuff like this happen where if you... If I push on this first marble, why why can't it move? Why isn't it pushing me away? Well, it's because the force I'm exerting on this marble is enough to slide it on the table. But this marble is exerting the same force back on me. Pretend I'm exerting 10 newtons of force on the marble, pushing it and sliding it. It exerts 10 newtons of force back on me. But that's not enough force to move me. It's only enough force to move the first marble. So... The law only states the marble exerts the same force back on me. It doesn't state that I'm going to move just because the marble did. Same idea with this. So the law states that this small second marble will exert the same force back on the big first marble when it hits it. But that doesn't mean it's going to stop the big first marble in its tracks. Because this is a big marble. That small little force that it's replying with isn't enough to stop it. As we see here. So the second law states that Every action has an equal and opposite reaction, but that doesn't mean since the big marble moved the small marble, the small marble should stop the big marble. It just means that it rep responds with the same force to the big marble that the big marble hits the small marble with. Now that force may or may not be enough to stop the big marble, and it's not in this situation. So that's the marble's activity um, with regards to Newton's third law.